After what's been the darkest time in Australia's cricket history, the game appears to be healing. The crowd at both ovals far more than officials have seen in years. I've been stimulated this much interest and this much press just because these guys are playing club cricket. I mean, that's got to be a beautiful thing for the game. Uh, for the younger guys in our club. For one of those young guys, being able to say he caught one of the best batsmen in the world is a moment he'll never forget. It's probably the most nervous I've ever been at cricket. It's a good feeling though, it's a big claim I'll be talking about for the rest of my life. The match promised so much, but Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic teaming up for the doubles of the Labor Cup has been a massive letdown. Things started terribly, Djokovic smashing a forehand into Federer's back. The pair laughed off the mistake, but it was a day of play. No luck for Newcastle trainer Chris Lees in the $1 million Golden Rose today. His runner, race favourite, Graf, was forced out wide around the final bend. And although the Colt came home hard, he couldn't rein in the leaders. Zusane back to the front. Chrome Graf and the Autumn Sun motoring. Zusane in front. The Autumn Sun levelling up like they hit it. The Autumn Sun. He's trainer Chris Waller had first and second. Australia has been upset at the ISA World Surfing Games, beaten by host nation Japan. The Aussies were restricted to silver in the team style event, which doubles as an early qualifier for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Mayweather's Philip Anderson competed, but it was Sally Fitzgibbons who stole the show, dominating the women's final with two nine-point rights. Ernie Merrick is confident his Newcastle Jets are on track after an impressive showing in a trial match today. Five nil winners over the Edgeworth Eagles. The A-League side dominated, producing some spectacular goals that stunned the crowd as well. With the A-League season fast approaching, today was a prime chance for fans to see just how their Jets is shaping up. It was just a little bit of rust from kickoff, but it only took minutes for the Jets to find their rhythm despite some desperation from Edgeworth. The Eagles tried their luck, but they were on the back foot, saved by some impressive tackles and by some impressive glove work. But there was absolutely no stopping Dimi Petrados' second. A struggle at the back saw the ref wave play on and the Jets gifted a third. Although the first effort was stopped, Ronnie Vargas wouldn't be held out. I thought we, we scrapped early for the ball and when we did win the ball we kept possession, moved forward quickly which is really our style of football and we did that for the whole game. So it was a really, really good workout for us. The second half started similar to the first, a goal within seconds. Mitch Austin and Jason Hoffman combining. Hoffman also bagging the fifth and final goal. While Austin impressed the coach. He's all but locked down that left wing role. That was his third game in 12 months. And he's just getting better every game. He's, as you saw, his turn of pace is incredible. Promisingly, Vargas and Skipper Nigel Bogart saw big minutes today. While Petrados looks to have gone to another level. The call up to the Socceroos has undoubtedly boosted his belief in himself and his confidence and his work rate. And, and now we've got an all-round type of player in him. He's a, he can defend, he can create and he can score goals. He's, he's a bit special for us. The Red Bull Cliff Diving World Championship will be decided this weekend. And for once, Nord's Wars, Rhiannon Ifland is playing catch-up. The two-time series winner finished second at the last stop, handing the lead to title rival Mexico's Adriana Jimenez. But if she wins in Italy, the crown will be hers, becoming the most decorated female diver in the event's history. And finally tonight, a reminder about tomorrow's coverage of the Newcastle Rugby League Grand Final between Souths and Lakes. You can follow all the action on our website, as well as a comprehensive report in tomorrow night's bulletin. One more sleep, Jane. Oh, I... <laughs> a big day to come. We'll be watching. Thanks, Sam. Some coastal showers forecast this week. We'll check weather details next. <laughs> Tic-tac-go.
great taste. Very refreshing. Long lasting flavor. It's crunchy and chewy. How many you chew is up to you. The fresh new gum. Tic Tac Gum. New Tic Tac Gum. The fresh new gum. Monday. 
and a top of 18 degrees. And for Gosford this week, just 16 degrees for Monday and Tuesday and a possible shower for the next couple of days. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook for more NBN news, sport and weather. And that's our bulletin for this evening. All this year. Good night. Bye.